Cyclopean Craft with me, Eleni, on our SMP server. Well, not my SMP server. It's Hank's. But you know what I mean. So, yes, get up to quite a few things today. Some bits and bobs in the shopping district. I get a little delivery and a nice little surprise or two. So, look forward to all of that, guys. Also... There was a slight issue with the background music in certain parts of this video. So because of issues I'd been having with the game, I had to uninstall and reinstall. And I forgot to adjust my settings accordingly. So yeah, sorry about that. But it hopefully shouldn't be as too bad as it was in a couple of the earlier episodes because my mic is okay now. So hopefully that'll be fine and I promise you it will be better in the next episode. All right, let's get to it. And if you enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and hit that bell button. And they've now made sort of like a big supermarket type shop. And instead of doing one diamond for three sand, they now do five stacks of sandstone for one diamond. And that is a deal that is far too good to pass up, in my opinion. So I'm going to buy quite a bit because I still need lots. El Zeke is now selling five stacks of paper for one diamond which is also a very good deal. I only bought the one shulker box though. I do not have room to buy as much paper as I would like just now because I really only came over for um... Yeah, I really only came over for the sandstone and to have a little look around saying that my diamonds get kept in my ender chest and as far as I'm aware I think most shops have ender chests so that's another one. Gold has not restocked but then I she, I got I got a custom order off gold for um, 40 stacks of the red sand Oh, hello, hello, hello. Yeah, 40 stacks of the red sand for 10 diamonds. So that was very good indeed. Because I need a lot. And to ask, I might have to ask for another big order from them. Because I still need quite a bit. Ooh, free with purchase. Not bad, not bad at all. Beef is gone. One diamond for two stacks. Mm. I want to support the economy, but PK's doing five stacks. <laughs> PK's doing five stacks. Oh, uh, this. One diamond for two stacks. That is good. I'll buy the leather off you. And we'll take some potatoes. Speaking of which, I I really need to stay on top of my own farming. I'm forever running out of food, which I really shouldn't be, because I have a cow farm. And I also have a giant wheat farm and a giant potato farm. But I just forget to farm until I'm on my last stack of food. So I'm also going to get some chicken. Which is also five stacks for a diamond. That that is ten stacks. Yeah, hold on. Yeah, that is ten stacks. Yeah. Recently, though, I have been neglecting my road building duties. Uh, which I will 
I will be getting back on top of, I promise. I signed up for this, so it is my responsibility. But, so that will probably happen in the next day or two, maybe. What is this? <laughs> Booming beds by Gwent Gamer. So this must be for people who are going to use beds to um, harvest the netherite. Ooh, eight diamonds per shulker box included for nether loot. Ooh. So I'm not going to buy this, but I am I am very curious what's in here. Nice, that is very good. Eight, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. But there's no point in me buying that because I already have full netherite. Oh, and I found my helmet. I knew I knew I hadn't lost it in the sense of it getting destroyed or despawning, but I just could not remember which chest I had put it in. I think is that. Yeah, you can buy ender pearls. That's not a bad deal. Not a bad deal at all. I really like that shop, Booming Beds. Oh, and the other day, Gwen built this statue to Hank. Was it Kevin? <laughs> yeah, so they came to the rescue of Gwen. Which, by the way, if you haven't checked him out, go check him out. He makes some good videos. Kevin is also starting his own YouTube channel soon. I think he's currently working on his first episode. So yeah, you should definitely check both those guys out. And the nether hub has been coming along nicely. If I can get a portal. So I think I did show this to you before, but... Does this just not look really nice? When all the tunnels are done, this is going to be amazing. And like with me doing the roads in the shopping district, people can also donate. Um, and I have donated a few bits and bobs. I donated some soul soil and some of these quartz bricks. However, I made a mistake. I made these in the crafting table. Don't make them in the crafting table. Use the stone cutter. I learned that the hard way. And also, look! I got soul speed on my boots. This is fantastic. I got Astro... Yeah, Astro has started a piglin bartering farm and he was asking if anyone wants to buy a book for four diamonds? I think it was four diamonds. Yeah, it was four diamonds for the book or three for iron boots with it on. So I snapped it right up after my failed attempt at buying them off a uh, piglin who did not give me it and then I accidentally punched and had to kill him because he was then angry at me. So, fun times! Well, you can't see from here. But because, for some reason, the portals won't sync up properly, even though they should, because the coordinates match. But for some reason, whenever I come through, obviously I come through here, and creepers and skeletons were coming through and we would just end up way down there and it was a pain so I put an obsidian platform in so you might still get ambushed by creepers but at least you're not going to fall in a hole which is something I guess someone has left me a present very nice I did ask in our discord who it was and I'm thinking it might be LZ because I know he's got a gold farm so it would make sense but
Hey guys, I'm here in the shopping district because it is time to pick up Eleni Van Hoof. Yes, as you'll have seen in the last clip, we have built her a beautiful little pen. Five diamonds. She is coming with me. Wait, where is an ender chest? I oh, hate Oh, didn't want to do that. So I've got a lead and some wheat to lure her through the portal. Come on. Be a good sheik and don't die. <laughs> We're nearly back at the portal. Come on, come on. Go away, Magma Cube. No one likes you. Could you stop spinning around on the stairs, please? Making me very nervous. No! What do I do now? <laughs> so, if I just carefully maneuver around, can I land her somewhere? And this lever over there. <laughs> Laney Van Hoof, I am not happy with you right now. You are doing so well. So well. You just had to walk off the edge. Yes, that's right. Love the wheat. No, no, no. Come away from the edge. What is wrong with you? You are... Are you kidding me right now? Really? Really? Don't you bounce at me. Uh... <laughs> Eleni Van Hoof is now successfully in her little pen. Hiding up on that hill over there. Yes, this pen is all for you, little Lady Van Hoof. Enjoy. So, when I came on today, there was a little something for me outside from Kevin, I do believe. So, I sold him three Wither Skeleton Skulls for five diamonds. He, because of time zones, we weren't both on at the same time, so he said he would deliver it later. So, yes, there's a little cactus maze. Why? Why cactus? Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Right, let's try and sneak our way through here. Ooh, Ooh I'll have to go pick that up in a minute. Cool for weather skull payment. Let's flick this lever, shall we?
Okay, I'm glad I wasn't standing there. Need the shulker in this chest. Whoa! Left you something a little extra. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, because when you're just like that, it says diamond 60. <laughs> oh, that's good, that's good. Don't forget to check out Gwent Gamer. The link for his channel will be in the description box. And not yet, but when Kevin gets his channel up and running, you'll see his link for his channel in the description as well in future episodes. So check him out as well. So that is the end of today's episode. If you enjoyed, leave a little like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.